Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another modded weapon. And this one is very big and very impressive and is sure to annihilate whatever you point at. This is the Naval LBX series of heavy cannons, which is currently just one large block that comes with three different ammo types. So we get a slug, which is like a shotgun. We've got high explosive rounds. And then we have my personal favorite, the cluster munitions that, well, does what you expect. So once you've added this in through the mod menu, you can find it easy in your spawn menu by just typing in naval, there it is, and this is what we get. We've of course got some other stuff on here, but they are from different mods from a previous showcase. But this is the one we get, and it is a rather expensive one. So it's large block only, and we got one hell of a lot of steel plates, metal grids, large steel tubes, motors, small steel tubes, computers, gravity components, and 8,000 construction components. So there we go. All we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside on the model, and then what I've got right below it is a small little ship set up with two of them ready to blast. We'll take a look at each of the shots and just fire them into the open, and then we'll test them against a large ship to see the destruction they can cause. There'll also be a link to the skybox I am currently using, which is a very nice one. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it'll be in the description below. So for the model for the Naval LVX series, this is what we get. Got ourselves a lovely large chunky barrel that is still work in progress. The creator on the workshop page says the gun is a little chunky and they'll add more polygons later. But what we can see here is a bunch of heat vents along the top. We've got some lovely metal decorations around the base of the barrel. It comes all the way across onto the main barrel. Then at the front, this is what we get. So that's where our projectile is going to fly out of. And as you can see there, it's just simply a grey void. Where the drop down and come underneath. This is all we can see, just simply the nice long barrel with a square part at the back. They were to take a close look at the back, that is all we get. So for the moment, there is no connection points on this, so you can't really use this in survival mode, but then again, you'd kind of only want to use this in creative mode in case you blow up your own stuff. Looking down where I'm standing, that is all we get. Then just putting the camera all the way through the model. There we go, that is all we can see. And yes, that's a very quick look at the model of the cannon. Like I said, it's still work in progress, but does look great, especially from a distance. And we can paint and we can add skins to it. As you can see down here, what I've got is a red sci-fi skin and a pinkish purpley glamour skin. So we can do that if you want to. It only colors around the barrel, so it leaves all the silver metal in place. So it does look great no matter what you do with it. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character and come to the fun part of the video. And we're going to blast some stuff with it. Let me just go and delete this for the moment. There we go. I can come down to my lovely seat, get in here, and we've got a few controls to go through. So here it is in the actual control panel. We've got a few things we can go through. It does use the weapon core mod, so we'll see a lot of controls for that. So we've got our DPS down here, our peak DPS of 73,000. And all the way down to here, our heat generated, shots per second, and of course our name, our cluster shots equal one, and then our alternative magazines, which is a slug, and the high explosives. So coming to the free camera, turning it to a mouse fire, we are on the slug, and away it goes. So this is our projectile we get. It's like a shooting star going across the sky, very much like a photon torpedo. There's a lovely trail, and that is the range we get. If I bring the camera over, bring up the HUD, and do that, get about six kilometers out of it, which is very nice stuff. So go and fly it all the way back. There we go. And we're going to switch it over to the high explosive rounds. So doing it one more time, hiding the HUD and firing it. There we go, that's what we get. It looks very similar, but it should be slightly different when it explodes. So all the way over, that's a lovely trail. And there we go. So here we go, one more time, hiding the HUD, firing that, and away it goes. Once again, our shiny little projectile with its white trail flies all the way across, and then kaboom. It just makes a massive shrapnel explosion that should deal a nice lot of damage to a large ship. But now what I'm going to do is just fire that one more time. I'm going to send it all the way across towards me. And then wherever it goes, I'm going to spawn a large ship. Then we can see the destruction at maximum range. And this will do quite nicely. It's a large galleon ship, which I'm going to do a video on a bit later on. But now what we can do is just sit over here and wait for the destruction to happen. And we'll see what kind of damage it can deal to it. So just coming around to it like so. I'll bring the sun all the way around. There we go, bring back into my character, get into the seat once again. Oh god, I've already fired it, so here it goes. We're now firing the slug straight into it. And any second now, there we go. It looks like we just hit part of the sail and went all the way through. 
which means I need to raise this up just a little bit. There we go, that should be a bit better. What we'll do is just, we'll switch them both to slugs, we'll fire them both at the same time, so firing that. And away they go, looks like only one of them has fired, but we should see the projectile any second now. And there we go, that was a nice lot of damage and the sheer force behind it, that is one thing I have not covered yet. The sheer force of these cannons is unbelievable to the point that you could use these as thrusters. And here we go once again with the high explosive rounds. There they go, it's now cooling down. Any second now the shots will come across. And there we go, the sheer explosion range on that is insane. You can see how much damage it did all the way across the ship. Got from the front all the way to the back. And there's a lot of deformed blocks on this. But it didn't move the ship too much to the point that we could just switch over to the cluster munitions, which is my favourite round. I'm going to fire that straight into it. So there we go, we're going to zoom away just a little bit. And any second now. There we go. The absolute sheer destruction of that munition is insane. And there goes a couple of our sails into the distance there. And that is one poorly looking ship. So any second now, here comes the projectile. And there we go. That was very odd for the cluster munition. I'm not sure what happened. I don't think the game had registered what's going on. Just looks like it sort of went into the ship and now it lives there. But there we go, that is a good enough showcase of what the ammunition does. It's a lot of damage and you could have a lot of fun with it. But for the moment, what we're going to do is change my little ship from a station to a ship. And I'll show the sheer force of these missiles, or missiles as these cannons, as they fire. So here we go, we're standing nice and still, firing this, and I'm going to let go of the mouse. Three, two, one, and there we go. We are now moving at 50 meters per second. I'm now being thrown away into the distance to the sheer force of this. We now fire it one more time. And like I said, you could use these as thrusters on your ship. To the point that I might actually just spawn in a large ship and try that out. So here we are to finish off this video. What I've got is the good old albatross with a bunch of these naval cannons strapped to the back of it. I've turned off all the thrusters around the ship, so we are purely using these. And as you can see, we got eight in total. So we're now going to change this to active. We're going to use, let's, I don't know, let's go and use the high explosive rounds for whatever reason. Get into this camera, and now we're going to fire them. And there we go. We've now got unconventional thrust thanks to these cannons. We need to wait for them to cool down just a little bit. And there we go, 84 meters per second. We are now charging along here. Can we change direction? It's going to be very difficult to do, in fact. And I think we'll use some munitions for this. <laughs> Screw whatever's behind me, because they're about to get destroyed. But yes, there you go. You can use these as thrusters if you really wanted to. So they're a fantastic little cannon. If you are looking to play with something very destructive in your world, they're not as overpowered as the nuclear weapons, but then again, they were a bit silly with the sheer destruction that they cause. These are a lot more, I'd like to say a lot more balanced in comparison, but they are still very powerful in that large numbers. They're going to be very, very easy to, well, blow up whatever you want. There'll be a link to them in the description below, along with a link to the skybox I'm currently using. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.